34 pages of names. Oh, I don't know. A thousand names in there. Okay, guys, we're back with What's Up Weekly. <sighs> and you know what time it is? It's time to do the draw for the Samurai's first giveaway, which is this gorgeous Tanto knife. If you missed out on your opportunity to get in the draw, well, too bad for you because the guy that wins this, or girl, is going to be pretty stoked. And I am a little bit sad to have to give it away. I don't have to give it away. But it's kind of like a sad, happy kind of thing, you know, where it's like, I'm going to miss this knife. It's very special to me, and I'm quite proud of it. But at the same time, it's going to make somebody super happy, and I can always make another one. And I plan on making other ones, bigger ones, and maybe swords, so who knows? So why not just make somebody's life that much better today? Let's get down to it. I'm going to save the draw for the end, because that way you have to watch the whole video, which helps me out, and in the meantime, I'm just going to blab your ear off about all sorts of cool stuff that's going on. Didn't do a What's Up Weekly last week. Why? Because there just wasn't a whole lot that was up, and I don't want to be that guy that just does a video for the views and just fills it with like blah 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 dribble. I know a lot of you probably think these videos are just dribble anyways. So you can suck it, but you might be a little bit right. But hey, people just like to talk, okay? I got stuff on my chest, stuff on my mind. I need to just vent sometimes. And so what if I'm not venting to an actual human being? So what if I'm just talking to a camera on a tripod? In some weird kind of way, we are having a conversation. Or at least that's what my brain is telling me. So I am just about ready to like glue together uh, the end board and the headboard for my kid's bunk bed. It is turning out freaking amazing. I'm so pumped on this. It's one of like the nicest projects that I've ever done, um, which makes me feel kind of guilty. I didn't do quite as detailed and as amazing a job on my other son's bed, but it's still an awesome bed and this bed is better. And the next bed I build will be even better. And that's just the way that I roll. I'm always like trying to make things better step at a time. So. So I'm kind of on the fence. I did a, like a brush on lacquer finish for my other son's bed just because I know he's going to put a lot of wear and tear on that thing and the lacquer is kind of durable and low maintenance. Um, but this bed, the joinery is so flipping nice and I'm kind of tempted to just do like a tongue oil finish. Uh, but that takes a lot longer. You got to do a lot more coats. But it tends to just really bring the wood alive a little bit better than lacquer. So I'm kind of torn. I'll do a few tests on some scraps that I have laying around and then decide whether or not I want to go tongue oil or lacquer. It's not like my other boys, Carver and Logan, are going to be any less rough on their bed. They're going to just beat this thing to crap anyway, so maybe I should do lacquer. I don't know. The thing I love about lacquer is, is it dries really quickly. It's completely clear, like it doesn't have any orange or amber tints to it, like a yellow poly does or tongue oil. Um, so the so it actually just gives you the most honest, clear finish on a piece of wood so that you're actually seeing like completely the wood grain and it's not tinted at all by the oils. So in that sense, I love lacquer and it's super durable and low maintenance. But in, from another perspective, it's also very like toxic and you have to like wear a respirator and stinks up your whole shop. And you gotta be really finessey with the brush to like make sure you get a nice, even, clean finish. Whereas tongue oil, you can just rag it on and it always like has just this gorgeous sheen on it. So tongue oil, I like it. It's, if you put enough coats on, it's also really durable, but you gotta keep a little bit more upkeep and maintenance with tongue oil. You gotta add coats and that sort of stuff over the years. So it's just one of those things, personal preference. In other news, um, I had all the Makita tools all packed up and ready to go. And then the morning they were supposed to come pick them up, I got a call from one of the Makita guys saying that they're not coming to pick up the tools and then I get to keep the Makita tools. So obviously somebody was uh, trying to slow the bleeding from that last video, which I appreciate and was probably the right move according to a lot of you guys in the comment section who were voicing your rage. So yeah, still pretty disappointed with how Makita handled this whole thing. Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. I'm glad that they changed their mind and allowed me to keep the tools. So that's a respectable move. And ultimately, it's not like they make terrible tools. Their tools are still good quality tools. Not the best, clearly not the worst. They get the job done. So I'm kind of, eh, maybe one day I will buy another Makita tool. For now, I've got all the tools that I need. And I did spend a good long while going through the Festool catalog, but honestly, I just can't get over the sticker shock from those tools. It's just like, 
where are they getting their pricing from? Like, I understand their tools are made like in Czech Republic. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Vashek and his girlfriend Sylvie, they came and visited from the Czech Republic and were telling me all about how Festool is made there at this really cool factory, old factory in the Czech Republic. So I was like, hey, that's cool. You know, they're creating jobs like in Europe and you know, the tools aren't made in some Chinese factory. That's definitely respectable. But at the same time, I just can't, I can't spend $1,200 on a router. It's just, I just can't do it, so. So for now, I'm just gonna chill out and not buy any Festool. And really, honestly, like, I don't even care what power tools I use. As long as the power tool does a good job, it doesn't matter what power tool you use. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, Milwaukee's the best, or uh, DeWalt's the best, or Makita, or Festool. It's like, put a good blade in the tool and, and obviously know how to use your hands. You, you can likely get the job done pretty well with almost any of the brands that are out there. Don't lose too much sleep over what brand you're gonna buy of tools. Just buy whatever brand uh, suits your budget and your needs. I find the most critical tools in your shop will be your hand tools. So obviously you don't wanna skimp out on your hand tools, buy quality steel, chisels, saws, that sort of stuff. That's really where you're, where you're gonna see the best return for your investment. So power tools are just time savers, but the real work is always done by hand, so. Let's get this draw over with. I know a lot of you guys are excited. See your name come out of the bucket. I'm excited for whoever wins this too. Hopefully you don't live in like Uzbekistan or some place where the shipping is gonna cost me like $400 to ship this thing. Figured the old pail full of names was like the most legit way to do this draw. That way people can't claim that I went and Hillaryed the whole thing and rigged the draw. So here goes. I'm gonna close my eyes, dig around, grab a name, make sure it's not stuck to any other names. And then whoever wins, wins, all right? Drum roll, please. No, no drum roll? All right, silence, please. Da 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 Oh my gosh, we got the name right here. All right, the winner of the Samurai's first giveaway handmade Tanto knife is Scott Brummett. Yep, that's the name, Scott Brummett, B-R-U-M-M-E-T-T. -T. If you are Scott Brummett, you can now do your happy dance. Squealing, tears of joy, all those things are allowed in this occasion, as long as they're man tears of joy. I also recommend punch dancing. It's a really great way to express yourself. Lyrical and interpretive dance is also welcome. I just really hope you're not watching this video at work and doing a weird, crazy happy dance in front of your employees because that could be kind of embarrassing. So congratulations, Scott Brummett. You just won. My Tanto knife. Well, your, it's your Tanto knife now, but I made it, right? So I will send an email to you, Scott, to confirm that you are who you are. Then I will get your address and ship this thing out once I give it a fine little polish and a snuggle. A little kiss goodbye, maybe? Oh, that's kind of weird. Well, high five. Pound it. Pound it. So yeah, I'll get in contact with you, Scott, and we'll figure out how to get this knife to you and... The rest of your days will be filled with joy and much slicing. So my condolences to all of you many people that didn't get your name called. Don't worry, your name will automatically be entered into the next draw if you are a monthly supporter of my channel. If you got into this draw just by doing a one-time donation, that's cool too. And you can get into the next draw by doing the same thing. So we'll do that a few months down the road. I'll probably make something else that's cool and kind of small and awesome that I can easily ship to one of my fans. And we'll do another giveaway in hopefully six months. So yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for all of you guys that contributed to this. Um, we got a ton of donations and a, a bunch of you guys signed up for monthly support of this channel, which helps me out big time and allows me to just continue to build awesome projects and know-how. And your support has also allowed me to do a little bit more in-depth video process for this bunk bed, which includes a lot of joinery and different types of with through tenons and wedges and regular tenons and that sort of stuff. So I'm in the process of just editing together another full length kind of tutorial video 
like I did for the workbench. Sorry, I kind of got hiccups going here. Yeah. We are gonna offer um, this tutorial on building these bunk beds, which just is a lot of just straightforward kind of woodwork training, which is applicable to all sorts of different projects. So it's not, you don't just have to want to build a bunk bed. I think the tutorial video will really be beneficial just, just for learning a whole bunch of skills to do with uh, hand cut joinery and that sort of stuff. So ultimately, I just want to give you guys all the opportunity to learn whatever I know. That's all I can really teach you is what I know. Um, so that way you guys can get in on the action and get your hands on your tools and have the confidence to just build whatever you want. Kind of like, kind of like me. Oh, you're so arrogant, Sam, right? You think you build hot shit? Yes, yes I do think I build hot shit. Like when you see this bunk bed, I think you're gonna be impressed, okay? Some of you guys won't be because you're trolls, but, and I'm okay with that. My homies got my back and if you wanna hate, you can hate. So that wraps up this week's video. Stay tuned for the bunk bed video, which will hopefully be coming out this weekend. And we'll also be getting the tutorial videos up. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, guys. Samurai out.